Junctional scotoma. Scotoma. Scotoma means darkness. Junctional means it's at the junction of the optic nerve and chiasm. So the fibers from the retina, both the temporal retina and the nasal retina, travel in the optic nerve. The nasal fiber, represented by this dotted line, crosses, but the temporal fiber remains uncrossed. So a lesion at the junction of the optic nerve and the chiasm can produce a field defect that only affects the nasal crossing fiber, which will produce a monocular temporal hemianopic field defect, or it can only press on the temporal uncrossed fiber. If it presses on the temporal fiber, then you'll get a monocular nasal field defect. These two field defects are at the junction of the optic nerve and chiasm and referred to as the junctional scotoma of Traquair. T-R-A-Q-U-A-I-R. In addition, however, a lesion at the junction of the optic nerve and chiasm could affect the nasal crossing fiber from the other eye. And that means you could get an optic neuropathy field in one eye, like a central scotoma, but because there's involvement of the inferonasal crossing fiber from the fellow eye, that will produce a superior temporal field defect because of involvement of the inferior nasal fiber from the fellow eye. That is also a junctional scotoma, but opposed to the junctional scotoma of Traquair, we just call this the junctional scotoma. The reason this is important is both the junctional scotoma and the junctional scotoma of Traquair are almost always mass lesions at the junction of the optic nerve and chiasm, of which the pituitary adenoma, meningioma, craniopharyngioma, and aneurysm are the top cause. So you should learn to recognize both the monocular hemianopic field defect, the junctional scotoma of Traquair, and the contralateral superior temporal field defect, the junctional scotoma.